All right. So, good morning again, everyone. So, for today's uh, lesson, we will discuss the introduction to National Service Training Program 1. All right. So, now can you please read? Uh, sorry, wala pa. Okay, now let's discuss what is the legal basis of the National Service Training Program. So, san ba nagmula or san ba nag-originate or san ba kinuha yung promulgation about NSTP? So, the National Service Training Program or NSTP law or RA 9163, also known as an act establishing the National Service Training Program, NSTP for the tertiary, tertiary level students, amending for the purpose, Republic Act number 7077 and Presidential Decree number 1706 and... Uh, for other purposes was enacted last January 2002 to amend the expanded ROTC. So way back before kasi class, ang pinapractice pa natin is yung ROTC. Now, binago siya ng, uh, in-amend siya or in-update siya noong January 2022 as an amendment to our uh, previously uh, program which is ROTC. So, ginawa siyang NSTP which we called R RA9163. So, now, um, this um, NSTP program is being um, implemented in the tertiary level students, especially those first year students who will enter um, college or tertiary level. So, this is the legal basis of our NSTP program, the RA9163 RA which is enacted last January 2002 um, on, the ba on the basis of ROTC class. Now, what is the NSTP objective? So can you please read, Angelo, our NSTP objective? This program aimed to enhance civic consciousness and defense preparedness in the youth by developing the ethics of service and patriotism while undergoing training in any of its three program components specifically designed to enhance the youth's active contribution to the general welfare. Okay, thank you very much, Angelo. So class, as, uh, as read by Angelo, this program, NSTP, will help us to become pre prepared um, during um, emergencies or um, community services. It helps us to grow the welfare of our community by giving us trainings and simulations on how are we going to um, give or share our knowledge, our skills, and competencies to our communities. Ibig sabihin, this NSTP program um, hone or enhance our skills and capabilities um, on what are the things that we can share to our communities. For example, pwede kayong maging volunteer to your communities about um, different programs kung saan mas ma-enhance yung development or yung growth ng isang komunidad or ng isang society. So, this help us to become um, civil or as, a, as part of a, a country or a government, it uh, creates or it impacted us to become helpful not only to our family but also to our communities. Siyempre, as a youth, kailangan meron din tayong contribution or meron din tayong um, shares to the general welfare, welfare of our communities. Now, what are the components of the NSTP class? So, NSTP, meron siyang three components. Now, let's discuss first the, yung una, yung as mentioned earlier class, um, the ROTC or the Reserve Officers Training Corps. Now, it refers to the program component institutionalized under Section 38 and 39 of Republic Act Number 7077. So, katulad nga nang na-mention natin kanina, yung una kasi bago yung um, CWTS, meron muna tayong ROTC. Now, it's designed to provide military training to motivate train, organize, and mobilize them for national defense preparedness. So basically, class, the purpose of our ROTC is to prepare the youth or to prepare um, the students or the individuals to become um, prepared to different um, skill sets and competencies on how they're going to um, protect or secure the country or the national defense. So 
um, if naabutan nyo nung high school kayo or nakikita nyo sa mga videos yung mga titos nyo or yung mga titas nyo or yung parents nyo, ang naabutan pa nila is ROTC. Yung may hinaha, meron silang mga um, uniforms na parang militar or military. And then they have this um, trainings na it exerted physical abilities. So about um, survival. So, di ba merong mga obstacles kung saan ginagawa nila yung different um, competencies or skills na kailangan nilang ma-enhance. Meron dun yung lulubog pa sila sa water na may putek or may mud, tapos yung mga bagwar. So, yun yung mga trainings na pinapagawa sa kanila or yung paghawak ng um, yung kahoy na barel or yung mga um, positioning pag merong graduation, di ba, merong mga ROTC officers na um, nag a or nag a during the um, graduation or any occasions related to that. And it also helps, um, for example, yung country natin or yung bansa natin nakakahar nakakaharap sa isang um, military problem. So, meron tayong uh, reserve or military reserve na pwede nating i-training pa or gawin pang uh, i-enhance pa yung skills nila para magamit natin in order to defend the country or the national sovereignty. Next is literacy training service or LTS. So pag sinabi naman nating LTS class, it refers to the program component designed to train the students to teach literacy and numeracy skills to school children, out of school youth and other segments of society in need of their training of their services. Ito namang program na LTS class or literary training service. Kayo, yung mga sujante, if ito yung subject nyo or ito yung program nyo, ang mostly tinuturo dito is tinuturuan kayo how are you going to teach children or how are you going to teach out of school youths or yung mga tao or yung mga mamamayan na hindi marunong magbasa or magsulat. So kayo, bilang individual practicing or servicing literacy training service, meron kayong skill sets or meron kayong kakayahan and meron kayong competencies para maturuan ng tama at maayos yung mga bata na hindi nakakapag-aral sa eskwelahan. Na kung naaalala nyo class, kung familiar kayo, yung um, si Edgar Peña Florida na nanalo siya ng Nobel Peace Prize Awards kasi ginawa niya yung program na yung um, karton na merong nakaset up na mga books, mga coloring uh, materials, mga Um, activities for mga out-of-school youth na children. So siya, taga Cavite City siya, si Edgar Peña Florida. Umiikot siya sa buong Cavite City. Dala-dala yung karton na yon na may lamang mga materials class um, na tinuturuan niya yung mga bata sa bawat barangay na pumupunta siya. Kasi na, na, nakapag-training siya ng literal, literacy training service or LTS. So yun yung tinatawag nating LTS class. You as a student or a students um, having LTS program you learn how to um, read properly, to write properly, and you have more than capabilities to teach those children or those people na out of school youth, mga hindi nakakabasa, mga hindi nakakapagbilang. So pumupunta kayo sa iba't ibang barangay, sa iba't ibang komunidad para turuan yung mga taong nangangailangan ng ganong tulong or ng ganong kind of services. And last but not the least, ito yung kung saan naka-enroll kayo ngayon or yung program na um, enrolled kayo as of this school year, which is what we call Civic Welfare Training Service or CWTS. So it refers to the program component or activities contributory to the general welfare and the betterment of life for the members of the community or the enhancement of its facilities, especially those devoted to improving health, education, environment, entrepreneurship, safety, recreation, and moral of the citizenry, and other social welfare services. So, when we say CWTS, parang ito is kabuuan ng isang buong community. Kung ano yung mga nangyayari, kung ano yung mga problems, mga focus ng community, di ba sa barangay natin, meron silang mga platforma or programs about health and safety, about recreational activities, about education, about business. So, kayo as a student, um, tinuturuan namin kayo or tuturuan namin kayo How are you going to get those kinds of skills and competencies on how are you going to help your communities? Um, we will help you, paano ba kayo makakatulong sa health education, sa community nyo, or sa business, or sa entrepreneurship. 
Um, kung meron kayong ganitong um, knowledge about business, pwede nyo siyang i-share or pwede kayong mag-training sa inyong community. By doing that class, nakakapag-share kayo ng um, knowledge nyo or ng trainings nyo to other people. So, pag nagagawa nyo yun, anong naitutulog niya sa kanila? Ibig sabihin, meron kayong contribution sa social welfare services, not only for your communities, but also for the entire country. So, every small act, Every small move class have a big impact, not only in one person, but also to different um, youth and to different people living inside your community. Okay, so class, these are the three components of, of NSTP. Tatandaan, pag ROTC, ang focus niyan class is military training or national defense preparedness. Pag LTS or Literacy Training Service Class, ang focus nito ay maturuan yung mga bata or yung mga taong hindi nakakapag-aral or hindi marunong magsulat, hindi marunong magbasa. Pag CWTS Class, ang focus naman nito ay general welfare ng society or ng community. Lahat ng challenges or lahat ng problems encountered by a community or by a society or by a society is being discuss sa CWTS. So, these are the three components. Now, class, sino ba ang covered ng mga uh, sino ba ang covered ng NSTP law? So, paano natin malalaman if covered ba tayo niyan or hindi tayo covered? So, according to the law or according to the um, NSTP law, all incoming freshman students, male or female, starting school year 2002 to 2003. So sabi ko nga, di ba class, way back 2002, backwards, ROTC pa yung, um, yung pinapaikot sa tertiary level. However, nung na-enact na or na-amend na yung law, naging um, NSTP law na siya. So from 2002 to 2003 hanggang ngayon class, lahat ng incoming freshman students, katulad nyo, first year kayo, na naka-enroll sa baccalaureate degree. Pag sinabi nating baccalaureate degree, four-year course yung course nyo, and at least two years vocational course, ibig sabihin tech voc, or two years lang yung course nyo, or associate courses, kailangan yung mag-undergo ng NSTP um, components of your choice. So kung ano yung gusto nyong kuning choice, Um, LTS ba, C CWTS ba, or ROTC? It's up to you. Now, ang, as of now, yung napili nyo or yung um, mandated sa inyo is yung CWTS. Kayo lahat ng first year, first year students are mandated to take this NSTP law. And also class, um, all higher and technical vocational education institution must at least offer one NSTP components. So always remember class, all tertiary levels, whether public or private, kailangan nag offer sila ng NSTP components. Isa sa NSTP components, ino-offer dapat nila. Pero um, to give you a tip, mostly ang ino-offer ng university class is yung CWTS or yung Civic Welfare Training Services. Bakit? Kasi yun yung general welfare of the society. Halos lahat doon natatakel na class and mostly yun yung needed or most required na kailangan ng um, country or ng isang government nowadays. So, tandaan, ito yung mga covered or yung mga criteria para maging covered ka ng NSTP law. Next class, so diniscuss natin yung mga covered. Ngayon, paano natin masasabi na hindi ka naman dapat mag-take or hindi mo naman kailangan i-take yung NSTP um, components? So, ano yung mga requirements para hindi mo siya ma-take or hindi ka maging covered? Una, students who finish or graduated from a baccalaureate degree or two technical vocational or associate courses and pursuing or enrolled in another or additional baccalaureate degree or two-year technical vocation or associate course in 2003 and 2004. Ibig sabihin, class, lahat na ng graduates. So, they don't need to take NSTP because they already finished their baccalaureate degrees um, or their courses in the 2003 and 2004. So, hindi pa sila covered. Ibig sabihin, lahat ng nag-graduate ng 2003 to 2004, they don't need to take it already. And yung mga students na nakakomplete na ng um, NSTP components but considered freshmen to the course where they transferred or um, covered or shifted. Halimbawa, si, uh, 
Um, for example, si, Ela, si Ayesa. Si Ayesa, nag-take na siya ng NSTP or ng CT, CWTS sa CABSU. And then, nag-shift si Alexa ng course or nag-transfer siya ng school. So, hindi niya na kailangang i-take yun kasi na-take niya na yun already. As long as napasa niya na yun or na, meron na siyang grade doon, so creditable na yun since na-take niya na yun once. And foreign students or alien students, yung mga foreigners class, hindi nila tinitake yung NSTP natin. Ma'am, bakit po hindi nila tinitake? And nag-aaral din naman po sila with our same school and same subject class kasi meron silang sarili nilang provision or NSTP na um, tinitake kung saan sila um, talaga nakatira or kung saan yung bansa nila. So are you familiar ba sa mga Koreans class or Korea? Sino mahilig dito sa mga Korean movies? Okay, so Ruth, so si Ruth, si Dean, so si Clifford, you are all watching Korean movies or you are a Korean fan. So, di ba nakikita niyo doon, class, nagte-training sila for their military um, preparedness or training. So, mandated yun sa kanila. Even if artista ka or even if um, normal citizen ka, lahat ng um, men kailangan mag-training sa kanila. So that's why yung foreign students or aliens dito sa bansa natin na nag-aaral, hindi na nila kailangan itake kasi meron silang kanya-kanyang um, laws about these kinds of uh, subjects sa bansa nila. Next class, what is the duration and equivalent course unit of each of the NSTP component? So sabi dito class, NSTP component should be undertaken for an academic period of two semesters. So, dalawang semesters nyo sa itetake kasi may NSTP 1 and NSTP 2. So, ngayon nasa NSTP 1 kayo. If hindi kayo papasa sa subject ko, you cannot take NSTP 2 kasi yun yung prerequisite niya. Now, kailangan meron kayong 54 to 90 training hours per semester. So, 3 hours kasi tayo per week. So, ngayon, um, let's just... Multiply kung how many hours yung meeting natin for our training. However, naiba yung, um, syempre yung setup natin or scenario natin ngayon because we are not allowed to go outside to have our face-to-face -face classes. That's why we will not, we will be having it um, virtually. And it should be credited for three units per semester. So, three units class ang ating NSTP 1. So, Please make sure that you will do all your best efforts to submit all your activities because if you did not pass the NSTP 1, you will never jump or you will not jump to NSTP 2. Now, ano yung mga dimensions or of development ng NSTP? Ano ba yung um, focus or target ng NSTP CWTS? Bakit natin ito kailangan pag-aaralan or bakit natin ito kailangan itakin? So, una, safety and security. Second, education. Next, recreation. Third, a fourth, values formation and moral recovery. Industry and entrepreneurship. Care for health and environment. So, class, kung nakikita nyo yung acronym niyan, sino makakapagsabi sa akin what will be its acronym? Yes, Luis. Service po. Okay, very good. So, class, its acronym is service. So, yun lagi ang focus ng NSTP or CWTS class. Always, its service. Now, let's tackle it one by one. First is the safety and security. So, for the safety and security, can you please read um, Clifford? Safety and security. This area involves disaster preparedness during fire, earthquake, or other calamity that needs immediate response from any trained civilians during emergency situations. Basic life saving seminar, fire drill, and the like are some of these examples. Okay, thank you, Clifford. So, class for the safety and security, ang itinuturo dito sa inyo is disaster preparedness. Ibig sabihin, pag may sunog, pag may earthquake, pag may kalamidad, or may bagyo, may lindol, um, pumutok yung bulkan, anong gagawin mo? Anong first aid na dapat mong ilagay? Anong gagawin mong SOP or standard operating procedure? Salimbawa, may um, earthquake. So, what will be our first um, actions class if ever may earthquake? If you are familiar with the earthquake drill, anong first dapat nating gawin? Don't panic. 
Okay, very good. So, don't panic, class. So, yun yung tinatawag nating safety and security. It helps you to know what are the actions or what are the things that you need to consider. Baka kasi may earthquake, tapos si Altea nag-lipstick pa or nag-make up pa. Ay, wait lang, may earthquake. Sige, mag-lipstick muna ka, mag-make up muna. So, hindi dapat ganon. So, pag may earthquake, tama. The first thing that you need to do is kailangan relax. Siyempre, hindi ko naman pwedeng sabihing relax na upo lang ako dito, intayin ko lang matapos. Dapat, um, don't panic, hindi pwedeng magtatakbo ka na, tapos magsisisigaw ka na. So, hindi ka makakaisip ng paraan paano ka lalabas sa building. So, pag may fire, what will you do? So, um, kuha ka ng um, wet cloth or damp cloth, tapos ilalagay mo siya sa body mo, and then sa baba ka or gagapang ka sa floor. Why? Because yung carbon dioxide is nasa ibabaw siya or tumataas siya um, on the surfaces. Now, that's what we call safety and security. So, iisa-isahin natin what are the things that you need to consider when you are um, doing safety and security procedures. Next is education. Can you please read, um, Angelo? This area involves enhancement of institutional support materials and facilities for the community and schools, such as providing materials containing basic literacy skills for preschoolers, alternative learning system for out-of-school youths and adults, mathematics and science tutorials, and extended services of skilled students. Okay, thank you, Angelo. So, class, when we say education, this involves all the supports or all the... Um, competencies on how are you going to learn or how are you going to gain knowledge. So, ibig sabihin, mag-aaral ka or pag-aaralan mo yung different topics para meron kang ma-share, meron kang matutunan, and then this um, knowledge or these ideas that you gathered during your um, literacy training or during your educational training to your CWTS will be um, beneficial for you to share not only for yourself or your for family but also for your um, community. So, pwede mong maturuan. Halimbawa, sa barangay nyo, meron kang kapitbahay na um, hindi marunong magbasa or hindi marunong magsulat. So, ikaw, um, as an NSTP student na pinag-aaralan mo, pwede mo siyang turuan or pwede mo siyang i-help um, para matuto siyang magbilang or magbasa. Or ikaw, for example, yung kapatid mong bata, pwede mo siyang maturuan kasi ikaw, mas ahead ka sa kanya. And tinuturo sa yung mga topics na tinuturo sa kanya. That's why, tinuturo sa kanya. That's why ikaw, mas ma-extend mo yung service mo to other people because every student that is skilled and competent enough to their educational capabilities have a big impact um, to their communities. Kasi mas ma-educate mo sila mas ma mabibigyan mo sila ng aral or mapapangaralan mo sila na ito yung tama, ito yung dapat mong gawin. Class, based with facts, not fake news. Next, recreation. Jamaica, can you please read? Recreation. This area involves sport fest, parlor games for street children, and painting that enrich youth's capacities to relate with one another in the community. Okay, thank you. Um, okay, thank you, Jamaica. So, class, when we say recreation, um, this involves yung different sports activities. So, dapat nag involved din tayo sa mga community um, activities natin or festivals for... um we create activities for them or we involve ourselves to them as an NSTP CWTS student. So, um, in the in the um, succeeding lesson or succeeding topic class, we will discuss the different recreational activities that we can use or we can share to our communities in order for them to enjoy or to relax sometimes. Because as people or as a person, we, we experience burned out, we experience stress, or we experience tension. That's why um, we have to know what are the recreational activities that we need um, to undergo or to experience in order for us to have relaxations as well. Hindi naman pwedeng puro trabaho lang tayo or puro pag-aaral lang tayo. Sometimes we have to relax and sometimes we do our recreational activities to enjoy our leisure time or our free time. 
Next, values formation and moral recovery. So this involves the development of youth to be good leaders, responsible individuals, imbued with good moral values and active agent of development of community. So class, um, the values and morals lagi siyang nagsisimula sa bahay nyo or lagi siyang nagsisimula sa family nyo. But as an institution, as an educational institution, we as, a, as your instructor needs you Um, to study what are the values and moral na kailangan yung matutunan kasi kailangan maging good citizen tayo or good leader. Sabi nga nila, ang kabataan ng pag-asa ng bayan. So, how the students or how this youth be the um, be the good leaders or will be the good leaders if wala kayong values or morals. That's why we need to study what are the values or what are the morals and principles that you should Um, embodied or kailangan sinasabuhay niya siya or ginagawa niya siya. So, in a succeeding lesson, mas i-discuss pa natin siya elaborately. Industry and entrepreneurship, this area includes programs and activities that are vital to economic growth. CWTS students demonstrate technical skills in communities like meat processing, silk screen making, and how to establish small business. So, dito, tinuturuan kayo paano kayo uh, magkaroon ng skills or ideas Um, to do business or to do entrepreneurship. So, um, nagda-demonstrate ng iba't ibang video or ng skills, paano gawin, uh, for example, paggawa ng um, pickled papaya or paggawa ng uh, fishball business, ng takoyaki business, ng meat processing business. So, sa NSTP, ginagawa nyo rin yan or gagawin nyo rin yan. Why? Or pag-aaralan nyo rin yan. Because if you know how to do small business, pag kasi nakapag-create ka ng business mo, you can also create employment. Pag nakapag-create ka ng employment, merong trabaho yung mga tao. Pag merong trabaho yung mga tao, meron silang kita. Pag meron silang kita, meron silang um, money to feed their family. So, domino effect yan, class. Um, every small act that you do or that you share to your community have a big impact to those people. Next, Care for health. So, very simple class. Pinag-aaralan dito yung different um, medical-related um, instructions or medical-related de demonstrations. So, yung mga first aid, um, pag may burns, pag may laceration. So, kailangan alam nyo din how to do first aid. Halimbawa, nag-hiking si Clifford at saka si eh, John Carlo. So, nag-hiking sila, for example, sa Mount Um, banahaw. Ngayon, biglang na-injure si John Carlo. So, dapat si Clifford, marunong siya mag-first aid. Alam niya yung dapat gawin or alam niya yung dapat i-execute. Or halimbawa naman, magta-travel si Jonas saka si Kent. Now, while traveling, biglang inatake ng asthma si Kent. So, si Jonas, anong first aid yung gagawin niya? O anong medication yung ibibigay niya kay Kent? So, that's what we call care for health. So, i-discuss natin yan elaborately class. Environment class is taking care of the environment or our mother earth. So, ano ba yung mga dapat nating actions or ano ba yung mga responsibilities natin na dapat ginagawa natin para mas mapangalagaan yung kalikasa natin or yung mother earth natin. So, that's the end of our orient discussion of the overview class of the National Service Training Program 1. Okay, hold on class. I'll stop presenting.